Hello everyone, welcome to new lesson. In this session, we will be discussing about alginate. So, impression materials are of two types, non-elastic and elastic. Non-elastic includes plaster, compound, waxes, zinc oxide and elastic includes aqueous hydrocolloids and non-aqueous elastomers. In aqueous hydrocolloids, there are agar and alginate. Agar is a reversible and alginate is irreversible. So we will be discussing only about alginate in this video detail. The word alginate comes from arginic acid which is a mucus extract obtained by brown seaweed algae. Based on type of setting, on setting time, the alginate is two types. Type 1 is fast setting and type 2 is normal setting. So, alginate is an elastic irreversible hydrocolloid. Generally, colloid means a solid, liquid or gaseous substance made up of large molecules or masses of small molecules that remain in suspension in a surrounding continuous medium of different matter. To say in simple words, a hydrocolloid means a substance which forms a gel in presence of water is called hydrocolloid. This is the structure of arginic acid. It is a polymer of beta d manuronic acid and alpha l glyuronic acid. This is a manuronic acid and glyuronic acid. These are the epimers and they are covalently linked to each other. When alginate is mixed with water, it is converted to sol and the cell is converted to a gel. This process of conversion of sol to gel is called gelation, that means setting. But this arginic acid is insoluble in water. So to make this soluble, its composition is available in its salt. That is potassium alginate or sodium alginate. Its function is to make soluble alginate in the water. And to form a gel, we need a reactor. The reactor would be probably a calcium sulfate. Then the final reaction would be when calcium, when potassium alginate combines with calcium sulfate it forms a calcium alginate this is a final gel product but this reaction is very fast that we can't get enough working time so in order to delay this reaction a retarder is added the retarder is trisodium phosphate and it combines with the calcium sulfate to delay this reaction so the first happening reaction is with the retarder the calcium sulfate first reacts with the trisodium phosphate after completion of this total trisodium phosphate then only the remaining calcium sulfate reacts with the potassium alginate to form final product gel in this way the reaction would be retarded and the composition is also made with the filler particles of zinc oxide and diatomaceous earth and there is also a potassium titanium fluoride this is a gypsum hardener this is because generally potassium alginate retards the stone setting. So in order to accelerate the stone setting, potassium titanium fluoride is added. This is the about com composition of the alginate. And next. So the final structure would be brush heap structure. Brush heap of calcium alginate fibril network enclosing sodium alginate salt and 80% of water and filler particles. This is the final structure of the gel. Let's talk about physical and chemical properties of alginate. Taste and order. Alginate has a pleasant taste and order. And flexibility. It has highest flexibility of 14%. Flexibility may be lower when water to powder ratio is lower. Flexibility is important because when we need to take an impression in the undercut areas, when the alginate is set, while removing it is easy as it is flexible. So there will be less chances of breaking the impression. And next property is elasticity. Alginate is highly elastic and accuracy is low. 
RG rate has very low accuracy because according to American Dental Association, the material has to reproduce a line that is 0.07 mm of thick. So this alginate cannot reproduce such a thin line. Next property is dimensional stability is also low for alginate because of the synergesis and imbibition. Synergesis means loss of water and this alginate may become shrink and imbibition means if it is kept in the water it absorbs water and it swells this property is called imbibition and synergesis because of this its dimensional stability is very low so because of this we have to pour a cast as soon as possible immediately next shelf life and storage as alginate deteriorates rapidly at elevated temperature and humid environment so it has to be stored in the cool environment tear strength is also low for alginate tear strength is also important because when the impression has to be taken in the very narrow areas so that only a less amount of alginate is required while removing the thin area may be broken so in this way it has low tear strength this is the disadvantage of this Let's talking about manipulation that means how to mix the alginate. The mixing equipment includes a clean flexible plastic bowl and a clean white bladed stiff metal spatula. The proper water to powder ratio has specified by the manufacturer should be used. Generally the ideal measurement is to 16 grams powder has to be mixed in the 38 ml of water and water is taken first then the powder is sprinkled into the water. The mixing is started with the stirring motion to wet powder and next rapid saturation by swiping or stopping against the side of ball is done. There are also mechanical devices are available for spatulation. The advantage of this using these devices are it is speed and convenient to use and can eliminate the human variables so finally the proper mix is should be smooth and creamy with minimum voids so that if there is no air bubbles the impression would be good mixing time for type 1 that is fast set is 45 seconds and type 2 normal set is 60 seconds this is the mixing time for this alginate we have to mix the alginate in this one minute and working time what is working time it is the time allowed for mixing the alginate loading the tray and positioning the tray in the patient mouth is called working time and it is 75 seconds for type 1 and 2 minutes for type 2 and next is the setting time means it is a time required for chemical action to be completed setting time it is 1 to 2 minutes for fast type fast set and 3 to 4 5 4.5 minutes for type 2. Next control of gelation time. Gelation time can be controlled by adding retarders but this is in the manufacturer's hand. But the dentist the, in the clinical can be altered by adding the temperature by altering the temperature of water for mixing alginate. By adding colder water the gelation time can be longer and adding warmer water it would be shorter the gelation time in this way we can control the gelation time and tray selection is also important because as alginate is not so adhesive so uh, proper tray selection is needed the truck uh, the tray can be like rim lock and perforation is recommended for alginate and some of the adhesives can also be used before taking impression. Next loading of tray. Alginate have to be loaded in the tray properly in this way shown in the picture smoothly. And seating the tray. Since the material sets from tissues towards periphery any movement during gelation may result in distortion. So once the tray is seated it must be held in the place firmly without any movement removal of impression 
Alternate impression should be left in the mouth for at least 2 to 3 minutes. Material locks loses its tackiness when set. That means it loses its sticky nature so that we can come to know it is set. And also it indicates a color change after setting. Impression must be removed as quickly as possible. Okay, next what are the steps to be taken after removal of impression from the patient mouth? Impression should be washed with cold water to remove saliva. And next it is disinfected by immersion in a disinfectant. The disinfectants could include phenol, iodophor, bleach or glutaraldehyde. And it has to be covered with a damp napkin to prevent drying. Storage of impression. Wrap the impression lightly with a moist paper towel and cover with a rubber ball. Keep impression in a sealed plastic bag. It is to be noted that storage should not be damp more than one hour. Next, construction of the cast. Cast should be constructed in a proper way so that pouring an alternate impression is the first portion of stone is placed in one corner of the impression as shown in the picture A and with the help of a vibrator the stone is floored along with the surface of the impression and round to the other side and allowed to drip off. This improves the wetting of the impression and reduces air entrapment. And next step is the rest of the stone is poured into complete the cast. This is the way how to construct a cast carefully without any air bubbles. And this should be only for one hour. If we keep the cast, if we keep the stone in the impression for more than one hour, it may lead to rough and chalky surface and alginate dries and stiffens. Removal can break the teeth and other thin portions of the cast. Let's see some of the advantages and disadvantages of alginate. Advantages are it is easy to mix and it is low of cost and is comfortable to patient. It is minimum requirement of equipment and gives good impression in presence of even in presence of saliva. Coming to disadvantages, it has a poor dimension stability and poor tear strength, it cannot be electropated and distortion may occur if material is not held steady while setting. These are some advantages and disadvantages of alginate. Thank you. This is the end of the session. If you like the video, hit the like button, like, share and subscribe.